Uh, biochemistry is option B of IB chemistry, and I advise it to students who have a uh, background in biology and are doing chemistry. This might be one of the easiest options for you guys to take. Uh, for every uh, segment or subtopic, I'm going to give you the borrowed piece from your syllabus in regard to understanding and application of your understanding and skills in terms of problem solving. So to start introduction with, there are a few vocabulary you need to master. The very first one is the chemical reactions that occur in living organisms. What do you call that collectively? This is known as metabolism. Now another way to define metabolism is all the reactions that take place, they usually need enzyme which works as a catalyst. So this enzyme cat catalyzes reactions allow organisms to grow, uh, reproduce, and maintain their structure in addition to respond to their environment. So this is also collectively known as metabolism. You need to master that, be able to write it, be able to say the four things that, for example, metabolism is responsible for. So the best practice is use of index cards to master these definitions. There is uh, two other related definitions. There are reactions in which organic matter is broken down to produce energy. That's known as catabolism. And there are reverse reactions in which energy is used to synthesize larger molecule. And that's known as anabolism. Example, your photosynthesis. Now let's look at it uh, in detail. Now, the chemical reactions involved in metabolism are catalyzed by enzymes, and they occur in controlled aqueous environment. They have a specific reaction pathway. Biological molecules or polymers that we are going to study, one is proteins, that is when amino acids, they link by peptide bond. Now, you should uh, recall from organic chemistry, when you take monomers and you make polymers, when you go from amino acids to protein, this is known as condensation polymerization. And sometimes in bio you refer to it as dehydration synthesis. Now the reverse is, for example, if you take proteins and break it by use of an acid to give you amino acids, that's known as hydrolysis. So these terminologies will also be challenged of you. We are also going to study lipids as, as polymers uh, that are triglycerides and triesters. They include fats and steroids. We study carbohydrates that include monosaccharides, polysaccharides, nucleotides, which are DNA, RNA, and coenzymes such as ATP that uh, carry energy for us. So these are what we are going to study. Uh, to also talk about where does metabolism and life comes from, we need to talk about producers and then consumers. Photosynthesis, you should recall from simple chemistry, is when plants, uh, they take carbon dioxide from air, they take the moisture from air, and they also use the red light from sunlight. The plants are green because the red is absorbed and the the complementary uh, red is absorbed and the complementary green is shown to give you glucose plus oxygen in the process. You know how to balance it, so I'm not going to worry about This is photosynthesis. It's photosynthesis and since it's using uh, energy to give you a polymer, a larger molecule. This is example of anabolic. And now the reverse, uh, which happens in cells is known as respiration or cellular respiration. We need sugar in order, uh, or carbohydrates to, to produce energy. And when we mix it with oxygen, This time we are going to exhale or produce carbon dioxide and H2O 
in addition we produce energy which is going to be carried through by, by ATP so this is respiration now photosynthesis is, and respiration is involved for a so these two collectively are involved for or responsible for global balance of oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide so this is a start into your uh, option B uh, biochemistry then again I advise it for students who have a background in biology and are doing chemistry at this moment